Yo, what is up guys? It's Ben Grubdo, back with another video. You know what today's day is. Today is the day that we get Endeavor, but like, before that, we gotta have a little talk. Cause like, I'm upset right now. Because, you know, we're not even gonna call it Ultra Grinding. I had to use the card, right? I had to use the card to get me some freaking coins and tickets and stuff, right? But the game declined my card, right? So then I put it on Google Play and I saw somebody comment about this. They're saying that they could not purchase. This happened to somebody else as well and that happened to me and I'm really upset. So, you know, it declined my card, keep in mind. So I put the Google Play points onto, I put the money onto the Google Play points directly, right? It is directly on Google Play. So now I use the Google Play to purchase the coins and it says this is not an accepted form of pay. Like, like what? That doesn't even make sense. So if that's not enough, I go back to the card, and so I pay for the card, I pay using the card, and I'm like, okay, it's gonna say it's declined again, right? And it goes through. The crap went through. So I have Google Play crump, like money that I can't even use for some reason, only on this game, I can't even use the crap. But it let me swipe the card that just said it was unavailable as well. So like, I'm a little upset right now for how much I just had to freaking spin because this, I don't know what's going on with the way the purchase system works. It, it just decided to crap out on me at the worst time possible. So I, I was having a good day, but like now I'm a little upset and now I gotta figure out a way to get all this fixed. But that's enough ranting. Y'all didn't come here for all that. Y'all came here to see me use the money to get Endeavor. So that's what we're gonna do. So, you know, we're, we obviously got to start with our single. It's mandatory. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Actually, you know what? If you're watching right now, go ahead and, um, you know, load this up. And you go ahead and do this with me. Yeah, do a group, a group single. It's free. We can all do it. So do it with me. So, go ahead and start it up. You know, obviously you can pause. So, I'm going to do this very fast. I'm count to five. Hopefully, you know, you've done this by now. Time to five. Now five, I'm gonna let my finger up. But I'm gonna say go, but at five, when I say five, the finger's coming up. So hopefully you got it open. Go ahead and tell me what you get when you got it. So one, two, three, four, five. And we got a dinky shard. Hey, what did I expect? But we're not here for that. We wanted a dinky shard, because I've been darned if I pulled an S there instead of here. So as you can see, we have exactly enough to get out of here. We have just enough to get out of here. Now, somebody told me, right, in the comments, that doing the 10 times gives you a higher chance. The only reason I'm hesitant to, hesitant to do that is because it doesn't say it here. If I'm not mistaken, they have to tell you if a 10 times draw gives you better like has that like gives you a better chance at A's and S's. It doesn't say that anywhere on this game. That's why I don't do ten times on this game because it it has to tell you that and it doesn't tell you that. So it's like let's read this. It says during the event you're guaranteed to get the S rank right. He'll disappear. And then you have ballot guaranteed to get a character every ten attempts. Those ten attempts also plays into your singles. So you don't have to do a multi to get the guarantee after ten attempts. Same for 30 and same for the S. You can do all those through singles. Nowhere on this game do they say doing a multi ups your rates at getting an A or a S. So that's why I don't do them. And the only reason I'm sure that's the case is because other games, I think every other game directly tells you if there is a higher chance to get it in a multi. And this is the one game that doesn't. I'm pretty sure they have to tell you if that's the case. And it doesn't tell me that on this game. Maybe it shows me on a different page, but I don't see it. I'm gonna point me to that page so I can see it. That's from what I'm saying. That's not the case. So we will continue doing singles because, like I said, now also it's just for the content, you know. And you can't do multi. The multi in this game burn so freaking fast, and they're so expensive. That's why I do singles because this game just is not set up. For you to enjoy opening packs. It, it's, it's too fast. And it's too lackluster. 
But go ahead and get it to it. I've been talking way too freaking long at this point. I am sorry. I just had to let all that out. I had to tell you all that stuff. You know, I'm sorry. But hopefully we don't have to use the last 33 of these tickets. Because, like, this just is not enjoyable to do. But, you know, I'm just going to let y'all know this now. I'm going to be very transparent with y'all. Um, we have one more banner available in 15 days that I can get, that I'll be able to do immediately. But after that banner, content still will be released, but I cannot say they will be summoning, it will be summoning con content. Cannot promise that, unfortunately. Because, I said, we on that college budget, you know? So... Wait, how many tickets do I have over here? Slide. Jeez. Okay, seven. But like I said, with being on the college budget, unfortunately, we, we, we just don't got it like that to continue summoning on every single banner that comes out. If it was the summertime, yes, I could. I, I would. But during school time, that is not a realistic thing that I can do, unfortunately. I want to do it, but it's not something realistic that I can do. But we'll see what happens. Anything can happen from today to then. That's why I'm trying to get, you know, I want to get partnered on YouTube. I want to make these videos. This is something I want to do. I like playing games in general. I want to be able to expand my channel past just my arrow at some point. We're not there yet. But, like, there's a lot of cool anime games coming out that I want to bring to the channel. But purely, you know, they're getting brought to the channel like Demon Slayer. When that comes out, that, that that's coming. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. I'm talking about the P like the PlayStation game, Xbox game, like the fighting game that's coming out. I'm letting y'all know this now. Y'all going to see some videos between me and my friends. We're going in on that game. So be prepared for that. Whether it does good on channel or not, it's coming. It's going to be here. And I hope you guys can enjoy it. I'd really appreciate it if you all enjoyed it. But that is what is coming next. And then there are other mobile games coming out as well that, of course, I can't be a whale. And it's not possible with doing this game. I mean, I'm not even a whale in this one. I'm not. I'm just a person that gets every character. But, like, I would love to be whales in other games. But that's just not possible for me right now. You know, I have very low level YouTube channel and college so those two things together say no freaking izuku stop showing up please but outside of all that let me talk about me a lot how how are y'all doing what's going on with y'all today have you have y'all pulled any new characters how's school going if you're not in school how's work going if you're not at work how's chilling going just let me know what's going on with everybody Look, talk to me let me hear it freaking tell me. And so, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. If you get it, it resets the pity. That, I don't like that. Keep the pity there. Don't reset that crap. Because that's what makes this game cost so much to freaking play is that it resets the pity. It'd be one thing if I could pull an S character at 50 and then do another 50 and guarantee myself to get the other one. That would be really nice. That's not the way this game works. I have to make it all the way to 100. But if I pull them at any any halfway point, I got to go all the way through again. And let's just be real. The rates in this game are dog water. The rates of all games are bad. Granted. Granted. And I'm like, I can't sit here and say one game. Like, like anybody can, like, in Belgium, you can go 10,000 stones before you ever pull the, the new card. That is true. But, like, the way this game functions, it just seems even harsh when you can see the pity. You pull the S character and your pity's back to zero. Like you went all the way to 80 for your pity to drop to zero. Sure, I got the card, but I would still like to finish my pity. Because in Dragon Ball Legends, for example, you still get your pity. You don't freaking summon all the way to, um... You don't summon all the way up to, like, you know, let's say... For example, let's use this example. You don't summon all the way up to 98, get the character on 99, and it just wipes your pity away. 
It doesn't do that. You still get your pity. That's how this game should function with the pity system. Like, don't take it away from me when I'm freaking essentially plotting, getting coins based off of the pity system. That's that. I'm pretty sure that's how most people do it. They do it based off the pity system. And then beyond that, it's like, as you can tell, I have not pulled him. So that's just me, though. That's just how I feel. Of course, other people probably feel a different way. And that's good. That's cool. All right. All right like, if, if everybody didn't think differently, it would be a very stale world. So, if you don't agree with that, tell me. I'm cool with that. If you think like, it's, it's fine just the way it is, they don't need to change it, fine. But I just think, especially for the free to play players out there and all this stuff, like, this also goes to free to play. If you're at summoning, you're at the 50 mark. And. That pity, and you pull the card, going back to zero just hurts, bro. It just does. It just does. Like how it makes it really hard to level up your characters. Like that triple rainbow triple S just that seems so unrealistic. <laughs> it just does. The way this game works. Like, no. No. It ain't happening. Like I'm telling you, the only person getting rainbow triple S is Ojiko. She's the only one. On my team that will ever get Rainbow Triple S. You guys have to understand that. I don't know how else it'd be possible for anybody else to get it. Like, unless I'm getting stuff like that from Minoru and stuff. Like, if they continue to give me those characters more than Ojiko, they might get it. But, like, the way it's going, she might be the only one to get Triple S anytime soon. But we did that one. And after all this talking to get us here... Here we are. This is it. When I do this, this video is over. We'll do the we'll do the level ups. We'll do the testing tomorrow. So I'm gonna say it right now. Go ahead and like, comment something I know, and subscribe. When I get this bad boy and I click that screen, I'm not deploying. This video's over. I hope y'all have a great day. Let's go ahead and get this. Very good. Look at him with his freaking fiery boots on. It'd be so much awesome. It'd be way, uh, like it'd be way better if you, you know we pulled him early. But like, still gotta give him credit. At least they have a pity system. I still will say that at least you freaking got. Don't even get it twisted. I'm still happy that they at least have one. I'll see y'all later.